So, good morning everyone and, and welcome to today's launch event of the Making Science Public um, Challenges and Opportunities. This is a, a great day and uh, before I do, I suppose I should just sort of introduce myself. I'm, I'm Sarah O'Hara, I'm uh, in my day job, I'm a Professor of Geography. Uh, in my evening job, I'm a Pro Vice Chancellor and that usually starts around about five o'clock at night and goes to about two in the morning at the moment. Um, we are launching today a really important centre. It's not a centre that actually uh, is new in some sense, because at the University of Nottingham we've been doing a lot of work around this idea of science and society for actually many, many years. And when I first came to the University of Nottingham in 1998, I actually came across uh, a group of people who were um, in various little areas around the university, but were being uh, had just been drawn together into the Institute of Science and Society, or what was to become the Institute of Science and Society, um, which is a group of people that included uh, Brigitte, but various other people around the room, uh, Sajasa hopefully is somewhere, um, oh, hi, sir. who were doing some really great research on the ways in which people uh, learn about science and understand science. And that had been funded by the Leverhulme, and it was a very, very successful programme that lasted for five years. Out of that group came a number of people who started off as early career researchers and gradually began to find themselves being placed around the university. Some of it was quite deliberate because what we wanted to happen in this university was for this idea of science and society and people's understanding of it, science and technology, to be embedded within our core disciplines. It's something that we believe is really very, very important. I personally don't believe any engineer should leave this university without an understanding of what the, the things that they're working on, what the impacts they might have on society, how people understand the technologies that, that they're using. When the Leverhulme put out a call a few years ago for a programme around science and science policy, it made absolute sense to us that the group of people that should come together to put a bid in for this project were people like Brigitte, Paul Martin, who uh, was here and is now at the University of Sheffield, and a group of other people uh, within the university should come together and put in a bid for this. And we were really absolutely convinced that they had the right set of ideas and interests and desire and thirst for knowledge and learning that would be successful. And we were really pleased that they got the award and in doing so brought together not just researchers from Nottingham, but as you can see here, we have people from Warwick, we have people from Sheffield now, who are part of this major effort. So today is our launch day of the programme, which is 2012 to 2017. They've already kicked off on a whole raft of projects and you're going to be hearing a little bit about them today. There's a couple of people, unfortunately, that can't be with us uh, for, for health reasons, and I, I, I know they would want to be here today. But you're going to hear quite a, a lot of things about what's going on here and what the opportunities are for engagement with this process. Um, so I hope you have a, a, a good day. I hope it is interesting and stimulating. Personally, I would rather be here today than where I'm going in about two minutes. Um, but... We have a group that are now led by Brigitte through the programme and also uh, Professor Rainer uh, Grundam who is leading our priority group um, on science and society. But to kick you off today, I think we're going to have a keynote from uh, Professor Ulrike Felt from the University of Vienna, which I'm sure will be both uh, interesting and stimulating. And I hope you have a great day just debating some of these issues. So uh, on that note, I thank you and uh, good luck. Thank you very much. Thank you.